corner where I bring my indoors to you. Sometimes the weather's too bad out here in California, so we improvise. So today I thought we'd do an amazing book on the Critter Corner feature. This is our first program that we're going to do here, and this is also the good opportunity to introduce you to Kenya's cousin, Mona. Hi! <laughs> she loves the indoors as much as I love the outdoors. <sighs> you know why? We'll get into that later. We should actually do the book. <sighs> the wind ruins my hair. Oh! <laughs> All right. Well, let's get started on our book today. A mammal is an animal. <laughs> that rhymes! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, critters, did you guys know that a mammal is an animal? Look at they already have books. They have one of mammals. Looks like they're researching that, huh? And they have one of, ooh, it looks like a pond life and for birds, too. Wow. So they have all different types of animals that they're learning about. And it looks like they're getting ready to take their dog out. Looks like they're going to go outside. Oh, what do you mean, ew? The outside's gross. Why is that? It's still like dirt. <laughs> okay. Dogs. And the wind, which dresses up my hair. <laughs> Mona, well, that's why we're inside today. Say that again. <laughs> Animals are living things. They can eat, breathe, move, and grow. But is every animal a mammal? No! <laughs> you already know the answer, huh? <laughs> well, look at where they're at. They're on a nice little boardwalk, and they have some nice little white-tailed deer. And it looks like they have a fox just laying in its den. I think we're just going to see a lot of these animals when we try to figure out what a mammal is. Ooh, an earthworm is an animal. They can eat, breathe, move, and grow. Is an earthworm a mammal? No! An earthworm is soft inside and out. Ooh. It says, earthworms are a kind of animal called an annelid. They forgot to say it's disgustingly slimy. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> Ooh, look, a white-tailed deer. This is what we saw earlier when they were walking down the pond. A mammal has some body parts that are hard. Ooh, so the hard antlers. Yeah, but these are bones. Bones growing out of their head? Yeah. yeah. That's disgusting. <laughs> Don't you feel naked? <laughs> oh my gosh, Rhoda. I guess not deers. Okay then. <laughs> See, he knows you're talking all about deer heads. You're not paying attention to the book. <laughs> A ladybug is an animal. A ladybug has body parts that are hard. But is a ladybug a mammal? No! <laughs> Why is that? Ladybugs are insects. Yeah, exactly. They have hard body parts only on the outside. Oh, you know what that means? That insects, like a ladybug, have an exoskeleton, meaning they have hard body parts on the outside. There are many kinds of animals that only have hard parts on the outside. Not of these is a mammal. So look at a horseshoe crab. Ooh, now that one has a really hard shell. But that's not a mammal. Lobster. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> that's not a mammal. Scallop. Also delicious. <laughs> that's also not a mammal. Garden snail. Kinda. <laughs> Black ant and a prey mantis. Ooh, we did an episode on prey mantis. So we talked about the exoskeletons there. Kind of cool to see. A mammal is an animal with hard parts, mostly on the inside. Ooh, that must make them different than the insects. I think so too. These hard parts are bones. They connect to make a skeleton. The long stack of bones down the middle, whoop, 
make the spine. Ooh, these bones are called the vertebrae. Look at so three parts make up the vertebrae, the backbone. You have vertebrae, the back vertebrae, and the tail vertebrae. <laughs> Okay, how about a sunfish? A sunfish is an animal. A sunfish has bones. That's a check. They have a ch they have bones in the inside. So yes, mammals do too. A long stack down the middle. Yep, that's a vertebrae. That sounds like it could be a mammal. But is a sunfish a mammal? No. <laughs> Why is that? All animals need oxygen to breathe. Sunfish and other kinds of fish get oxygen when water goes into their mouth through their gills. Those right here are the gills. So he opens his mouth, puts water in the gills, and through that helps a fish breathe. <laughs> what do animals use to breathe then? Well, we'll find out. Ooh, look at this. Wow. A mammal gets oxygen when it breathes air into his lungs. Can you do that? Oh, you gotta let it go. <sighs> oh, it's like harbor seals. So look, they have pictures of our seals, and they have of the big, big humpback whale. Oh, but look, the arbor seal's underwater. It says, the arbor seal holds its breath underwater. Ooh, but does that make it a mammal? Does it have gills? Let's read over here. It says, they breathe air through their nostrils. Oh, like us. And mouth. When above water. Oh, so it's like us when we go swimming. We hold our air and we go inside and we then hold it when we're swimming. So harbor seals do this too. How about whales? The humpback whale breathes through two blowholes on top of its head. Whoa, that's cool. All right, let's try this then. A bullfrog, ooh. Yeah, a bullfrog is an animal, that's right. A bullfrog breathes air into its lungs. But is a bullfrog an animal? No! <laughs> that's right. How about garter snakes? No! No! <laughs> Why is that? Frogs and amphibians and snakes are reptiles. These animals are cold-blooded. They need heat of the sun, earth, and water to keep them warm. Maybe that's why this frog's outside. He's trying to get all nice and warm and from the heat. And maybe this little thing is too. I know when you go to see snakes, usually you see them out in the sun, but sometimes you see them in the rock when they to get some cool shade, just like us. All right. Oh, excuse me, Mona, your foot's in the way. A mammal can warm its body from the inside. Oh, and reptiles can't do that. Maybe that's the difference. A mammal is warm-blooded. Oh, because amphibians and reptiles, they are cold-blooded. Mammals are warm-blooded. I see. A mammal usually has fur to help it stay warm. Look at, they have a bobcat, gray squirrel, porcupine, a vole, red fox. Look, like all these have fur. What about a cardinal? Now the cardinal birds, they're warm-blooded, aren't they? So are they a mammal? Cardinal is an animal. A cardinal can warm its body from the inside. Instead of fur, feathers keep it warm. But is a cardinal a mammal? No! <laughs> That's right. A cardinal is a bird. And birds lay eggs. Baby birds grow inside the eggs. The mother and father keep those eggs warm in a nest. Baby birds hatch from these eggs. Look at one just hatched. And the father's feeding him a big old worm. That's cool. Snakes, frogs, fish, 
spiders, clams, worms, and insects, and many other animals lay eggs too. Most mammals grow inside their mother's body in a place called a womb. See, there is the baby in the mom's belly. In a womb, the mammal gets oxygen and food from the mother's blood through a cord, the umbilical cord. When a mammal is ready to be born, it is pushed out of the mother's body. The cord breaks away during birth and the baby takes his or her first breath of fresh air. <laughs> Newborn baby drinks only milk. The milk comes right out of the mother's body. Mammal baby suckles the milk and grows and grows and grows until it eats all kinds of food on its own. See how the mom is eating the grass? The baby will too when he gets older. But this right now is a two month old cat. Young mammals stay close to their parents for months or years to learn from them. I used to live with my mom. Yeah, you do. <laughs> There's a white-headed capuchin monkey, red kangaroos. They're a marsupial, you know, meaning they have a pouch. And this is called a joey, the youngins that come out from the pouch. Pigs. Oh, look. There's more than one. Let's count them. One, two, three. Three babies. Uh-huh. Bottlenose dolphins and African elephants. Those are all mammals that stay with their parents. Mammals sure are amazing animals. Oh look, you have a mom that's feeding her baby milk and you have a girl that's brushing her dog's hair out. He's also a mammal because he has fur and a backbone. Hey, you are one too. I am? Yeah, just think about it. Okay, let's go over the checklist. So the checklist is you have a backbone. That's right there. Yeah, exactly. We have one. I have one too. Okay, fur. I have that right here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what else? Do you have, do you get hot sometimes? even when you're bathing suit? All the time. Yeah, see? So you are producing your own heat. That's good, and fur helps with that too. That's why you have fur, to help keep you nice and warm. Oh look, there are some strange mammals on this page. Monotremes. These are also mammals, but these guys lay eggs. We have the dead-billed platypus here. Marsupials. Hey, we we're just talking about this. They have pouches. Those little things they hold their babies in. These guys are also mammals. And they feed their babies milk. Isn't that fascinating? See, it just goes to show you that the whole world isn't always black and white. There's always exceptions, even in the animal kingdom. This is why Critters and I love talking to you guys about animals. <laughs> well, thank you for joining Mona and I for our special book read on A Mammal is an Animal. We'll see you next time. Bye. Good night. <laughs>